Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Chris and I'm here today to read you a sweet story about a fruit bat. Let's look on the cover here. The name of the book is Stella Luna and here is the fruit bat right here. She's hanging on for dear life on the branch and here are some birds in the background. Now we know a few things about birds and bats. What do we hear in the morning? We hear birds chirping in the morning and they stay up all day long and we see them flying around getting food. And when nighttime comes and it gets dark, the birds are quiet and they're all back in their nests. And that's when the bats come out. So the bats can see in the dark and they, they actually use their sonar from their eyes to know where they're going to navigate. So this particular bat is a fruit bat and she likes to eat fruit. So let's read the story. This story is written by Janelle Cannon. Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon. Whoops, let's get to this. Okay, here's the first picture. And we see a beautiful bat flying so nicely with big, big wings. And the wings are almost translucent. That means you could almost see through them. And the story begins. In a warm and sultry forest, far, far away, there once lived, lived a mother fruit bat and her new baby. Oh, how the mother loved her soft, tiny baby. I'll name you Stella Luna, she crooned. Each not, night, mother bat would carry Stella Luna clutched to her breast as she flew out to search for food. One night, as Mother Bat followed the heavy scent of ripe fruit, an owl spied her. On silent wings, the powerful bird swooped down upon the bats. Dodging and shrieking, Mother Bat tried to escape. But the owl struck again and again, knocking Stella Luna into the air. Her baby wings were limp and useless as wet paper. And down, down she went, faster and faster into the forest below. The dark, leafy tangle of branches caught Stella Luna as she fell. One twig was small enough for Stella Luna's tiny feet. Wrapping her rings around her, she clutched the thin branch, trembling with cold and fear. Mother! Stella Luna squeaked, where are you? By daybreak, the baby bat could hold on no longer. So down, down again, she dropped. Flop, Stella Luna landed headfirst into a soft, downy nest, startling the three baby birds who lived there. Here she is, she fell headfirst into the nest. And here's one, two, three baby birds there. Stella Luna quickly clambered from the nest and hung out of sight below it. She listened to the babble of the three birds. What was that? cried Flap. I don't know, but it's hanging by his feet, chirped Flitter. Shh, here comes Mama, hissed Pip. Many, many times that day, Mama Bird flew away, always re returning with food for her babies. Stella Luna was terribly hungry, but not for crawly things like Mama Bird brought. We have to remember that Stella Luna was a fruit bat, so she liked fruit. But finally, though the little bat could bear it no longer, she climbed into the nest, closed her eyes, and opened her mouth. Plop, in dropped a big green grasshopper. Okay, now look at the birds. What are they doing? All four baby birds. Here's the bat and the three baby birds are hanging upside down. Stella Luna learned to be like the birds. She stayed awake all day and slept at night. She ate bugs even though they tasted awful. Her bat ways were quickly disappearing, except for one thing. Stella Luna still liked to sleep hanging by her feet. 
Once, when Mama was away, the curious baby birds decided to try it too. And there they are. Once, when Mama was, oh, excuse me. When Mama Bird came home, she saw eight tiny feet gripping the edge of the nest. Eek, she cried. Get back up here this instant. You're going to fall and break your necks. Now, Stella Luna wouldn't fall, but maybe the other ones would. Mm. Oh, look at poor Stella Luna. She's trying to get along. So she's coming back into the nest. The birds clambered back into the nest, but Mama Bird stopped Stella Luna. You're teaching my children to do bad things. I will not let you back into this nest unless you promise to obey all the rules of this house. Aw. Stella Luna promised. She ate bugs without making faces, and she slept in the nest at night, and she didn't hang by her feet. Stella Luna behaved like a good bird should. Aw, but not like a bat, right? All right. All the babies grew quickly. Soon, the nest became very crowded. Mama Bird told them it was, it was time to learn to fly. One by one, Pip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna jumped from the nest. Their wings worked. I'm just like them, thought Stella Luna. I can fly too. There they are. Pip, Flitter, and Flap landed gracefully on a branch. Here they are. Stella Luna tried to do the same thing. Embarrassing. It was hard for her to see the branch to land on it. Here she is. I will fly all day, Stella Luna told herself. Then no one will see how clumsy I am. Now we know that bats don't normally fly during the day. So she's learning the bird's ways now. Here she is. The next day, Flip, Flitter, Flap, and Stella Luna went flying far from home. They flew for hours, exercising their new wings. The sun is setting, warned Flitter. We had better go home or we'll get lost in the dark, said Flap. But Stella Luna had flown far ahead and was nowhere to be seen. The three anxious birds went home without her. All alone, all alone, Stella Luna flew and flew until her wings ached and she dropped into a tree. I promise not to hang by my feet, Stella Luna sighed. So she hung by her thumbs and soon fell asleep in the tree. She didn't hear the soft sound of wings coming near her. Hey, a loud voice said, why are you hanging upside down? Stella Luna's eyes opened wide. She saw a most peculiar face. I'm not upside down, you are, Stella Luna said. Ah, oh, but you're a bat, and bats hang from their feet. Huh, it never dawned on Stella Luna that she was a bat. You are hanging by your thumbs, so that makes you upside down, the creature said. I'm a bat? I'm hanging by my feet, and that makes me right side up. Stella Luna was confused. Mama Bird had told me I was upside down. She said I was wrong. Mm, wrong for a bird, maybe, but not for a bat, his friend said. Mm -hmm. More bats gathered around to see the strange young bat who behaved like a bird. Mm. Stella Luna told them her story. You ate bugs, shuddered one. You slept at night, gasped another. How very strange, they all murmured. Wait, wait, let me look at this child. A bat pushed through the crowd. An owl attacked you, she asked. Sniffing Stella Luna's fur, she whispered, oh, you are Stella Luna, you are my baby. <laughs> She's smiling now. You escaped the owl, cried Stella Luna. You survived, and here they are talking, the mommy and the baby. Yes, said Mother Bat, as she wrapped her wings around Stella Luna. 
Come with me and I'll show you where to find the most delicious fruit. You'll never have to eat another bug as long as you live. I bet Stella Luna was happy with that. Here they are, they're using their sonar. But it's nighttime, Stella Luna squeaked. We can't fly in the dark or we'll crash into trees. We're bats, said Mother Bat. We can see in the darkness, come with us. Stella Luna was afraid, but she let go of the tree and dropped into the deep blue sky. Stella Luna could see. She felt as though rays of light shone from her eyes. She was able to see everything in her path. Soon the bats found a mango tree and Stella Luna ate as much fruit as she could hold. I'll never eat another bug as long as I live, cheered Stella Luna as she stuffed herself full. I must tell Pip, Flitter, and Flap. The next day, Stella Luna went to visit the birds. Come with me and meet my bat family, they said. Here she is talking to her friends. Okay, let's go, agreed Pip. They hang from their feet and they fly at night and they eat the best food in the world, Stella Luna explained to the birds on the way. As the birds flew among the bats, Flap said, I feel upside down here. So the birds hung by their feet. Wait until dark, Stella Luna said excitedly. We will fly at night. When night came, Stella Luna flew away. Pip, Flitter, and Flap leapt from the tree to follow her. I can't see, yelled Pip. Neither can I, howled Flitter. I, creaked Flap. We're going to crash, Stash gasped Stella Luna. I must rescue them. Stella Luna swooped about, grabbing her friends in the air. She lifted them into a tree and the birds grasped a branch. Stella Luna hung from the limb above them. There you go, she rescued her friends using her talents. We're safe, said Stella Luna. Then she sighed. Look at them all, Oh, She has them all in her wings tight. I wish you could see in the dark too. We wish you could land on your feet, Flitter replied. Pip and Flap nodded. They perched in silence for a long time. How can we be so different and feel so much alike, mused Flitter. And how can we feel so different? How can we feel so different and be so much alike, wondered Pip. I think it's quite a mystery, Flap chirped. I agree, Stella Luna, but we're friends and that's a fact. So there you go. They learned to be friends and they really appreciated their different talents and the things they could do. So that was a really cute book. Thanks for listening. I'll see you next time.